that you endure with joy. Every day that you love those who attack and criticize. Every day you appreciate those who don't appreciate you. Every day you serve those who take advantage and manipulate. You demonstrate not only the genuineness of your calling, but the genuineness and the reality of the gospel lived out before your people. That for you, preaching the word is not just a task or a job. It is truly your calling. It is what your life and ministry is based on. You, pastor, are most people's best opportunity to see the gospel on display. One way they can see the power of God on display in your ministry is through your commitment to preach and live the word despite <coughs> pressures to do other things. You, sir, you, brother pastor, are not approved to be an entertainer. You are approved to be a prophet of God. Trusting in the inerrant and sufficient word of God as you faithfully proclaim, thus saith the Lord. You are approved for that task. But you are also not to just be approved in that task. As you work diligently for that task. But you are to be unashamed as you do it. Let me read again 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. They say, but preaching the Bible doesn't work. But I say, I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God and salvation for all who believe. They say, but preaching the Bible is boring. But I say, my heart exalts in the Lord. I will delight in your statutes. My soul is consumed for your decrees at all times. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to my selfish gain. They say, but preaching the Bible is foolish. But I say, Christ sent me to preach the gospel, not with words of eloquent wisdom, for the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, being saved by a great high priest who forever lives to make intercession for us, to us who are being Preacher, this is the power of God. When you preach the word, let's pray. Father God, I thank you that we have that great high priest. And God, I thank you that you have approved us in Christ for this task. Giving your word to your flock. <coughs> it is a holy calling. We approach it with fear and trembling. God, let us not be discouraged. Father, I pray for the pastors here who might be downtrodden, who might be in pain for any number of things. God, I pray you would encourage them. I pray they would leave here energized to love the unlovable and live out the gospel in their lives. God, I thank you for the benefit and the blessing of being here today and what we've heard. And God, I pray that we would live out the truth of this word in our ministry's lives. We love you. Thank you for this ministry. Trust them to us. May we.